Today, India is considered to be one of the fastest developing countries in the world. But in reality, this development is highly disproportionate in nature. In India, 74.7% of the population lives in rural areas and 25.3% inhabits urban areas. Nonetheless, there is a marked absence of uniformity in the development drive. Very few villages now have adequate sanitation facilities and proper shelters or access to electricity. According to the recent survey conducted by Socio-Economic and Caste Census or SECC, it is found that more than 49% of the rural population shows the sign of poverty, whereas 2.37 crore households in rural India are deprived of adequate shelter or sanitation facilities. According to another report published by World Bank, more than 22% of the Indian population is denied access to electricity. Moreover, the corporate initiative on technological development is also very biased in favor of the urban life. Noticing the polarization between the village and the city, NB Institute for Rural Technology or NBIRT has taken some major initiatives to minimize the adverse effects of this one-sided development in India. Starting with the alternative power generation facilities, NBIRT has engaged itself in various innovations and in developing technological marvels to combat these inequalities. NBIRT scientists are working day in and day out, scaling new heights to achieve affordable and sustainable technology keeping in mind the factor of erratic climate changes. NBIRT is giving birth to new concepts and equipment. To name a few, low-carbon housing materials, battery-less solar street lights, solar dome in sanitary toilets, solar jackets, and last but not the least, floating solar panels. NBIRT innovations are giving hope to a considerable number of marginalized people in two ways. Firstly, the poor people are getting access to the facilities that are otherwise unaffordable for them. Secondly, they are getting trained to the technology which is bringing them a steady means of bread and butter. NBIRT has developed an array of cost-effective and sustainable building tools and raw materials. These eco-friendly and low-carbon raw materials are unique in nature and much cheaper than any other conventional construction material. The institute has a training center to train the engineers, masons, unemployed youths and other technicians on cost-effective construction technology at Orkonir, Tripura. In fact, West Tripura Building Center is now playing a catalytic role in respect of alternative building technology movement in the state of Tripura as well as in other parts of the northeastern region হইলে সাধারণত অন্য ঘরগুলি সব দিকে সমান ওয়েট থাকে ওয়ালে তো এগুলি সবটাই বাইরের দিকে ওয়েটগুলি স্ল্যাবগুলি ওয়েট বাইরের দিকে কোন ধরনের ভূমিকম্প হইলে স্ল্যাবগুলি বাইরের দিকে ফিরে যাবে এমন ধরনের সিস্টেম করা আর কি পার্থক্য তো আছে কিন্তু আগে তো এমন আছিল না সুবিধা আছিল না দুইটা ঘরের লেফটিন টেপটিন আমরা আগে সার্বজনীন আছিল এটা যার যার হয়ে গেছে রক্ষণ এই সুবিধা হইছে NBIRT has launched an ambitious program to generate employment through skill development and vocational training.
The finished products from every workshop and training program undertaken go directly to the NBIRT market outlet set up by NBIRT to make these initiatives economically viable. Addressing the problem of running water and absence of electricity in this big school, NBIRT came up with the unique plan to provide running water to the washrooms and toilets and also with a foolproof plan to provide illumination to the washrooms and laboratories. The solar panels were set on the roof and for the success of this initiative, NBIRT introduced the intelligent controller that would control and ensure the optimum utilization of the solar photovoltaic module output. The solar panel is utilized for other activities like providing running water, illumination, etc. even during non-operation of the pump. This is a unique innovation based on the need of the rural people. Moreover, this is a major step towards the generation of clean energy. The project became a huge success. A positive vibe is quite evident in the words of the students. ভালোভাবে ব্যবহার করতে পারছি বাচ্চারাও পুকুরে পড়ে যাওয়ার ভয় ছিল এখন কোনো ভয় নেই গরমের সময় পুকুরে সেরকম সাফিসিয়েন্ট জলও থাকে না কলও সব সময় যে কাজ করে তা নয় প্লাস একটা কল সেটা ড্রিঙ্কিং ওয়াটার হবে না টয়লেট ওয়াটার হবে তো এই যে রানিং ওয়াটারটা আসার মানে অসম্ভব উপকৃত কি টিচার কি স্টুডেন্ট এবং আমার তো মনে হয় এন্টায়ার মানে হেলথ প্ল্যানিংটাও খুব ভালো হচ্ছে one of the flagship projects that NBIRT conceived and developed with their own innovative and scientific expertise is the floating solar power project. At present, the needs of solar power plants are at an all-time high, but the land needed for these big solar plants is scarce. Floating solar plants are the best way to solve this problem and achieve the renewable energy target. The idea of the solar panel has taken shape in the station located in the New Town area under New Town Kolkata Development Authority or NKDA. The work has been entrusted to NBIRT Kolkata. It is the brainchild of Dr. S. P. Gonchodhuri and this initiative of NBIRT promises a new era of alternative power generation not only in this country, but in Southeast Asia. Every day, with innovative ideas and sustainable plans, NBIRT is looking to enhance the quality of life. NBIRT was established almost 25 years back. Uh, our main objective at that time was to, uh, you know, do something in the rural development sector. So we thought uh, science and technology can play a major role in northeastern states through which we can at least do something for the rural people who are really not enjoying the benefits like urban areas particularly in the shelter energy and employment generation uh, through various types of science and technology intervention and we always kept in mind that whatever we are doing it should be low carbon it should be really eco-friendly it should consider about the sustainability and those type of you know concept we have already tried in every sphere. Unfortunately, we are now a pan-India organization. We are also working in Chhattisgarh. We are also working in Delhi city, even Delhi city in the renewable energy sector. Uh, we are working in Jammu Kashmir. I think the mission of the country, the target of the country, 100,000 megawatt, which we are going to project in the Paris conference in 2015, December, uh, from our climate protection uh, you know, activities. We will also contribute, maybe very small, but in the policy and through some installation in the remote areas, rural areas, we will contribute to that big movement of the nation. This is just the beginning. NBIRT 
also known as Orkonir in Tripura, strongly believes in equality in the development process. NBIRT is ready to strive towards the dream of this green earth. A dream that one day the sky will be bluer, the water will be cleaner, that one day no smiles will be fake and that every life will resonate with hope and prosperity.